Right guys, a quick update on the petition I spoke about recently relating to the WHO and this global pandemic treaty, which for those who don't know involves 194 countries giving up sovereign rights to the World Health Organization. They will then decide what restrictions are put in place across the board when they declare a future pandemic, essentially a one world government through the back door under the guise of keeping us all safe, and like I said the other day, removes any hope of holding people to account for their actions. This will allow our own politicians to avoid blame for the damaging effects of future restrictions. This is obviously one of the biggest issues we face right now because Boris Johnson has literally said he will sign the UK up to it, something my previous video showed, but it does make me happy to see the petition against this has now reached 100,000 signatures I've got to say. Obviously I'm not happy because I think it will stop this or anything like that because the grooming gang report petition showed us that it won't. I am happy however that it got there because it will expose Parliament for its treachery when they debate it and ignore people's concerns. You will never hear me moan about these scumbags exposing themselves let me tell ya. And with 100,000 signatures Parliament has to debate it and this will show us which MPs stand against it and which don't because so far I've not seen one speak out against it have you? Now really, this petition here should have millions of signatures, not the 100,000 it's got, but while it is gaining traction online, most of the sheeple out there are still unaware that it even exists. Yes, people have made videos on it, posts on Twitter about it and all that, we've stopped the treaty actually trending on Twitter as we speak, but Twitter is not most of the world, is it, and literally never will be. It's a small percent, the same as any online platform, so most people just never hear about shit like this until it's obviously too late. I mean, you certainly won't see it on a BBC News programme until it's in place and they're celebrating it like they've done over bat flu, so I guess it's up to us to spread the word as much as possible, hence why I'm making another video about at it here. Now as it stands there is no date for when this debate will actually take place but I will keep an eye on it and update you when they do. Then I'll live stream the debate so we can all see it as it happens and expose the MPs that are selling us out. But you know what guys on that note there I will end the video I just wanted to show you that this had reached over 100,000 as we speak. Remember though as always to let me know what you think down in the comment section below, subscribe if you ain't already and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.